Jeffy Stone, silver medalist in the Rio Single Skulls Final, Tufts medical graduate currently applying for her residency, and winner of this year's Head of the Charles Women's Champion Singles and Champ 8 events. It's clear that Stone refuses to choose one passion over another. Stone's Champ Singles win ties her with Jim Dietz and Ann Martin as the only seven-time winners of a singles event in Head of the Charles history. Ann is a friend of mine, a mentor for me. Uh, for a long time in Europe, I actually rode her boat. Having her in my life has definitely been an inspiration to me. So to be able to get up there with her is amazing. Jevy Stone's connection to the regatta runs deep. A Newton native, she's been participating since her junior year of high school in 2001. She cites her time with the grade eight as one of her favorite memories. To be able to row with women I respect so incredibly much is, I mean, I think we're all in awe of each other in little ways. And it's so amazing to row in a boat like that. She credits her first singles win in 2008 as a huge factor in her decision to keep pursuing her Olympic dreams. It was the fall of 2008, and I hadn't made the Beijing team, and I decided that maybe I still wanted rowing my life. And that joy that I got winning, and knowing like two months if I'd put in and training in the single, and that it paid off, and that's when I knew that I wasn't done rowing. Her silver medal this summer in Rio certainly proves that perseverance paid off. Before the race, I had to come to peace with the fact that if I had my best race, I would be okay with finishing second through fourth, like anywhere in that bunch. And that acknowledgement that like is about having my best race and not necessarily making the podium allowed me, I think, to have my best race. And fortunately my best race was one that gave me a silver medal. So it was, yeah, it was more than I thought possible. It was incredible. Rio marks Stone's retirement from international competition in pursuit of her other ambition, completing her doctor's residency. On her way home from Rio, Stone made the change from pursuing orthopedic surgery to emergency medicine, and rowing played a part in that decision. I love rowing, and I think that if you go into orthopedics, medicine really has to be your only passion. And in emergency, it's easier, not that it's easy, but there are more people who balance their passions. So they do international work, or they do wilderness work, or this or that, and I think I could be an excellent sports medicine, do sports medicine fellowship, be an excellent team doctor, and be able to balance my passion for rowing with the passion for medicine. Her advice to those trying to balance their dreams? Love what you're doing enough, and then it's, you're willing to make the sacrifices and to really use the time you have wisely. Though she's completed her Olympics career, Stone's love for rowing will never cease. She dreams of being a U.S. women's team doctor and plans to complete her residency in a city with a strong rowing presence. And when asked how many more head of the trials she'll be in? Oh gosh, my dad's still rowing, so a lot, hopefully. Maybe not in the champ single forever. Oh, I technically could row the master single already because I'm above 30. Uh, so we'll see what event I end up in. Um, we were joking among the grade eight that we were going to row it when we we're in our 50s. So who knows, but decades to come. <laughs> From Cambridge, this is Ava Maldonado.